close any more pace. That wouldn't have dropped in. There's plenty of loose reds, but the fact he's finished short on the black, he may go into the pack and bring a few more into play. He didn't really want to be doing that, but uh, I think he might have to now. There's uh, one into the middle pocket, and the reds are perfectly placed now. And uh, Well, if he wins this frame... He wouldn't give Marcus any chance. Stephen Hendry, of course, developed the shot from blue into the pack to keep the white in open play. But I think Ronnie was one of the first players I've seen do it off the black, where all of a sudden he plays it in such a way when he hits the pack, Nine. the white stops. He's uh, excellent at that shot. Well, we did mention at the start that uh, in amongst the balls in the first session, he, he looked terrific. He had of 82, 62, 71, 85, 86, and a 58 in the last frame of the uh, morning session. 15. And you'd have to do something careless, you would feel here, the way the balls are situated, to run out of position. Another beautiful positional shot from right there, taking the cue ball around the back of the red with a lot of side. Yeah. Well, the red he missed in the middle. Let's have a look. Well, there wasn't much room past that red. As I say, he was concentrating on the cannon, but that was very tight. I agree with you, Danny. was concentrating on the cannon, wasn't he? Because he'd actually... Even if he had to kiss the red, I think the red was going high. 21. Lovely guy, Marcus, as well, on and off the table. Likes to laugh in a giggle, but of course it's his serious face on this evening. And whatever happens in this match, he'll reflect on that first session where he knows he perhaps should have been a lot closer. Yes, I think if Ronnie was going to be vulnerable, after a year off, it was going to be in the early frames. I did a little bit with uh, Jimmy White on Five Live this morning, and that's what we said. The first four frames were going to be so important. And he started 29. with the break of 82, and then he had two terrific clearances. Marcus should have won the frames, but Ronnie cleared up twice, which was uh, superb. So he's out there playing as if he's never been away. 35. I was chatting with John Higgins in the players' room, Willie, and he was saying, you know, he didn't feel that Ronnie would have any problem. 37. It's not like a boxer that's out for 12 months and you come back again, or a a footballer where you haven't played for 12 months in the main arena. He's had plenty of practice time, and with his experience, he was always going to play fairly well. He's been active on the exhibition circuit in the last two or three months, Dennis, isn't he? He's played in, I think, a couple of the exhibition matches with yourself and, and Jimmy and that, so that's a uh, good practice 44. in itself. Yeah, we played one over at Goffs where they used to do the Irish Masters. Uh, Ronnie played Steve Davis, and uh, he did look very edgy the first couple of frames. You know, there's nearly a thousand people there, but then he settled down and uh, played really well. Just having to wait while Jan Verhaas gets the pink as near to its own spot as possible and a direct line behind the pink spot without touching that red. Steady as a rock, Jan, as ever. Doing his fifth final this year, uh, yeah, Willie. Ca catching up with Stephen Hendry, isn't he? He only won seventh. <laughs> Jan is one of our better fifth. referees, though, without any shadow of doubt. Well, he took a little bit of time to check that when the 
pink did go near its own spot, whether the pink would pot, obviously that tells us it doesn't. 51. I presume the red just above the pink will pot, so this is obviously is a now fabulous chance to win this opening frame. 26. Fifty-seven. Quick glance at the scoreboard just to see how many he needs to secure the frame. There's the difference, 47. 59. So just this red. 60. Well, if he takes the yellow... He's going to need another red, and he's got to take the yellow. But no problem getting onto the red that will take him over the line in this opening 60. frame of this session. 63. This is the first frame today. His first frame in competitive play. Having been out for nine months, he looked like making a century. Broke down on 82. 70. 71. He did make a high break of 86 a little later. Could this be his first century of the match? Sure. And an excellent shot. 78. 78. Well, believe it or not, he's made 682 centuries in his career. It's quite incredible. Still a hundred and odd centuries behind the great Stephen Hendry, but uh, he's just a... 82. He's just a potting machine. 84. So good to watch. I mean, eighty seven, ninety one. We've had four centuries so far. Ricky 96. Walden leading the way with a magnificent break of 140. 102. Doesn't matter about the black. What a start to two. this evening's session. You can't do any better than that. He's got one chance, and what did he do? He made a century break, and he now leads eight frames to two, just two away from getting into the last 16.